Wow, Auntie, that was a really interesting story, but what does that have to do with us? Hey, Peter, let me continue. <laughs> that handmaiden uh, is a princess, Hanli Po. She came with many handmaidens with her. But there was this one exceptionally troubled one, uh, you know. Trouble? Uh, wh what do you mean? There was this handmaiden who came along with the envoy. She, like the other handmaidens, was given the responsibility of serving the princess for the rest of her life, even in Malacca. She was very close to the princess, almost like a best friend. She was a joyful young lady throughout her entire life, serving that one person whom she cared a lot, which is the princess. But she left China with a heavy heart and an enduring memory of someone whom she cared more than the princess herself. A man, a close companion, a friend, someone who she truly loved. He was a palace guard, just like her. He had sworn to serve in the imperial palace for the rest of his life. Day after day, night after night, she had always dreamt of returning back to her home hoping to see that man again. Though she was hopeful, she knew her dreams would never materialize. Her whole life has changed ever since she left to be with the princess. All that was left were fragments of memory endured in an old necklace, the medallion which symbolizes their love for each other.
the ancestor, really? I mean, mum never told me that before. All she told me was that she's from Malacca and she met that in New Zealand. That's about it. That kind of old Chinese love story, you want to talk about it? Hey, you are. Hey, hey, bro. So, you're of royal blood, eh? Hey, Ash, you didn't quite listen carefully enough. It was the handmaiden, not the princess. <laughs> <laughs> and, it could be a myth. Oh. Hey, guys, look. I'm a believer of the story, alright? No me, okay? It's all the truth. You can take the necklace ah, and go do the... What, what, what dating ah? Carbon dating ah? <laughs> hey, fine, fine. Hey, trust me. So, it was an interesting history there, did it? Yeah, your ancestor seems like a really nice guy. You really liked it. You're awesome. I like someone. <laughs> what are you talking about? I do like my girlfriend, okay? I just... Don't show it. <laughs> uh, I don't know uh, what you've learned from all the quiet <laughs> though. Better, uh, make the girlfriend better than what these two guys are describing to me and Uncle. In this family, we treat relationships seriously, you know. Hey, you see, you see, they are not bitter. Hell uh, has no fury. Like a women's brother. <laughs> How many of us here are involved in relationships? Come on, don't be shy. Just admit it. How many of us are involved in long distance relationships? Missing someone back at home? Texting someone at all times? Can't stop thinking about that person? Well, Peter did actually have a long distance relationship, but... <laughs> hey, uh, May? Uh, are you there? My love for you. 
is like a star. This is it. 
It's not my girlfriend anymore. Peter, we're not asking you to call Meg. Yeah, we're asking you to call your parents. <laughs> You've been in this trip for quite a while. I'm sure that they, they're worried about you. My parents? What, what, why would I call them, guys? Have you missed the entire point of this trip, Peter? It's to get back to our family's roots. It's to stay connected. That's the most important thing. Yeah, exactly. Your parents, your family, your home. No matter what happens, they'll always be, they'll always be, be there for you. I'll be there.